Hey guys, and welcome to CC Free Sunday. It's another Sunday, it's another CC Free thing. So today is also the first day of Colour Me, a new series of room builds that I'm going to be doing on the channel and we're going to be exploring different colour palettes each week. So hopefully in the next one I'm going to give you a choice of two colour palettes that we can go for in the third edition. So I've already recorded the second Colour Me. Um, it's actually going to be an apartment build. So it is technically a room because you have to put it on the gallery as, as a room but um, you get more you get what three slash four rooms in once in once in one <laughs> but anyway um as you can see on the screen the color palette pastels with a few extra brighter colors i would have loved to be able to keep that four poster bed uh but i found the huge sign that comes with bowling the bowling pack and it looked amazing over that bed so i changed it mm. uh, but the only thing is that throws me off with that bed was that bright pink in the middle totally not with our color palette so it does get changed to white i know i know but if i was doing this in cc if you have the cc beds um like the separated out beds you can just change it i would change it back to the knitted is it the knitted one? It kind of looks knitted. Um, bedspread that you get on the four poster bed that came with City Living. That is just like perfect. But I decided to go with a teenager bedroom because you know what? I feel like I neglect my teenagers in my game. Um, I spend a lot of time on kids rooms and toddlers rooms and then teenagers I'm just like whatever. You know we'll just delete out the kids bits and just just carry on or sometimes I might put in a double bed that's about it that's all I do for my teens so I thought they need a little bit of love let's 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 just give them a little bit of love today um so yes in the next color me I will be giving you a choice of two color palettes to choose from basically I want you to vote which color palette you would like to see next so I'm going to give you a choice of two in the next one the next one should be coming up next week so it is once a week and um yeah so I want you to get involved with picking what you want to see but I love color um you may not be able to tell by some of my other builds because they're quite I don't know subtle but <laughs> these builds are just going to give me a way to be a little bit more adventurous and just you know it's it's a lot easier just to do one room outrageously i'm not saying you need to do a whole house in the same color palette i i don't think i would normally do a house in the same color palette um similar maybe they are in one color palette they probably are actually i lie they probably are but um I don't know if you, would I do a whole, I don't think I'd do a whole pastel house. It, I, I don't know if it's me. So oh, I wish I'd left that sign in the corner now, actually. Always, I hate doing these voiceovers and looking back at my bills and then I'm like, no, I should have changed it. <clears throat> um, but how do I use color? But uh, lots of places you can go to look at color theory here on YouTube, loads of videos. Um, if you always struggle with colours, then I would really advise you not even looking at um, colour wheels. Loads of people say colour wheels, you know, pick this and that. But colour palettes, like I showed you before, are just the kind of quick way. <laughs> I'd call it the shortcut way of getting to something that you really, really like. Someone's already gone through the trouble of picking out all those colours that go well. And I don't think you're really going to get to that colour palette if you were looking at the colour wheel. Personally, I don't use the colour wheel. Um, colour combinations just come naturally to me, which of course it doesn't to everyone. So for, if you, you don't get colour palettes easily and you don't get colour combinations easily, I would advise you to go on Pinterest and just type in the word colour palette. Or if you're looking for a certain type of mood, for example, if you know you want a pastel bedroom, then just type in pastel colour palette. Job done. 
you will get thousands of pins raining down on you with all color palettes that you can just pick from. And color palettes are a really good way to make sure that your builds are cohesive and, you know, they look good. If all the colors go together, it looks good. You can kind of forgive the different types of furniture going together if the colors look good. But anyway, um, and yet again, I'm using that lovely rug from City Living. What did we do without that fluffy white rug? I don't know personally I don't know what I did without it oh yeah used CC <laughs> duh uh, but yeah I'm thinking of maybe doing my own color palettes for in-game content only in-game content um so I was thinking maybe like a neutral slash natural palette a bright palette a pastel palette um what else? Like heritage colours? Also good. Um, so if you've got any ideas of what kind of colours you would like to see in a palette. So they're going to be available for download and everything on my Tumblr when I finally get around to doing it. It's not going to be for a few weeks. Um, I'm also going to have to teach myself how to make actions in Photoshop. <sighs> I've never done that before actually. Never needed to batch process something. But I love, can I just say I love the blue of that desk. It's like get to work you brought so many things into my life that I didn't even know existed and I'm only getting to see you now I feel like I really messed up on the whole get to work thing I did not explore it at the time um but I'm making use of it now and it looks really really cute I don't even think I've seen anyone use that desk before um what I didn't do though what I should have done with this is uh use the color filter for the objects to try and find objects to fill the room uh but i didn't i did that with the wallpapers that palette there those walls there i made those out of all the colors in the color palette so i went through and used the color filter in the catalog and found the exact colors that i wanted to use and um this is the result so i'm i think i'm putting in the i love that light i only discovered it the other day and it's a kids room light so I think it's meant to match, you know, the toddler and the kids' beds that come in red and orange and blue and basically the beds that I hate. But it looks to me like a lollipop. So it looks super cute and kind of a little bit kitsch, which I think this room is maybe a little bit kitsch. Um, we do end up putting in a flamingo. So you can't get more kitsch than a flamingo, can you? No, you can't. And that wallpaper is from Spooky Day Stuff, but is it called Spooky Day Stuff or is it a spooky stuff? I don't know. But it looks so cute. I've never seen it before. And I know it's ghosts, but they look like cartoon character ghosts and they're really cute. So I thought I'd use it. You know, I'm trying to use an, a colourful rug because the floor is white, but it didn't quite work out and I, one thing I would have done is I would love to put more yellow in here but the yellow in the game was just wasn't the right kind of yellow to go with it so epic fail on that point um so also do you know what just happened on the channel also we just hit 2k I know 2k I can't believe it. Less than a month ago, I celebrated 1K and now we're at 2K already. So hello everyone, welcome. If you are new, like half of you are anyway, you've been here for less than a month. Um, Thank you so much for coming to my channel. It's great to have you here and you're more than welcome to stay for however long you want. <laughs> so just thank you everyone. So screenshots. Um, I will be back tomorrow with 100 babies and drifter challenge, those who are missing out. But until the next time, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you. Bye guys!